Hello and thank you for purchasing this course. Before actually going deep inside Gemini and trying to understand how it works, I would like to give you a very small introduction about Gemini, a little bit of history and the things that we will be covering in this course. So before actually going into what Gemini is, what is an LLM and all of that things, I would like to talk about data science. So data science is the umbrella inside of which LLMs reside, right? So what is data science? Data science is the process of extracting, extracting insights and knowledge from very large sets of data, right? And using that information, using those results and ana analysis to make informed decisions to improve efficiency and gaining a competitive edge. So, so for example, Imagine a supermarket, a supermarket which has the digital billing system and everything in place, but they are not using data science for now, right? So what will happen is a customer buys stuff, goes to the billing counter, a bill is generated, he does the payment and moves on, correct? Imagine pulling all of the data out from the system where whatever purchases the customer is doing, we have that data collated into a single entity, right? A single large data set. Now on that large data set, we can do some analysis and maybe we can derive which is the item that uh, is a hot selling item, right? Which sells off as soon as it is restocked or whatever quantity the supermarket buys that or stocks that, that particular uh, product, it sells away. And we can also find the product that does not sell at all. So there might be some items which are kept in stock but are not sold and are wasted. So that wastage incurs a loss for the supermarket. We can use data science to derive this, these insights and then take informed decisions in the stocking of the products. So for example, if we have a flavor, a flavor of prime, right? For example, the drink, the energy drink that, that is hot selling. So for example, say the blueberry one sells a lot, for example. So instead of 10, the supermarket can stock 20 items at one go in the expectation that the customers like buying that item. So it will sell off at the earliest and there, there might be some items which do not sell at all. So it is better to not keep them in stock or keep very less amount, the, uh, less amount of that product in stock. This is how data science can give a very competitive edge to that supermarket in order to earn more profits. So let's move on to the next slide. Data is the new oil and data science is the refinery. So just like oil is considered valuable and resourceful and it is refined into valuable products like uh, petrol, diesel and stuff like that. In a similar manner, in the digital world, data is the equivalent to having oil and to convert raw data into actual valuable products. Data science is the tool that will help us to convert data into something very valuable right so now uh, let's see where does gemini fit in in this narrative right so what is gemini gemini is a versatile tool that can be used for a wide range of data science tasks so we'll just go uh, not into uh, a lot of details while discussing this because the aim of this course is not to teach you about data science or even LLMs, right? The aim of this particular course is to uh, show you how can we use Gemini to our full advantage. Gemini can understand and generate human language. Like it can understand you like any other person. And not only that, according to your input, the input that you give to Gemini, it can even react to that and generate some uh, content which is humanly readable. Right. So it, it makes it useful for tasks like text analysis, sentiment analysis. Not only that, even you can use it to analyze images, videos, audios. A lot of things can be done through Gemini. Right. And why uh, should everyone know about Gemini? Even if you are not a tech person, I will still uh, 
push you or encourage you to learn about Gemini is because it can save time. It can automate all of your manual tasks, right, with accuracy. And not only that, because it is, it, it takes the hard part of the coding away a bit. So Gemini is the tool that is accessible to a wider audience. So it's not only limited to people who know tech. Some even people who have a little bit knowledge of tech can use Gemini or integrate Gemini into their uh, workflows to get the manual stuff automated or get their current workflows smarter. Let's go through the course overview once about the things that we are going to cover in the next few hours, right? So in this course, you'll be gaining a deep understanding of Gemini's capabilities, right? Including how does it uh, process text? How can it even take, uh, say, images as an input and do some action on it, okay? So in order to do that, uh, we will require to first learn about Google AI Studio. So Google AI Studio is the tool that Google gives us to interact with Gemini. We can do a lot of stuff there, right? And it's, it's all just clicks right it it's all just uh, drag and drop and clicks you don't have to code anything in google ai studio and if you want to actually code something then we'll come to the streamlit part the streamlit part will enable you to build very dynamic and fluid uis just using python and then uh, the last thing that we'll do is we'll integrate uh, inside of Streamlit, we'll create some UI and we'll create some functionality inside Gemini and then we'll fuse them together into one hands-on capstone project, right? So, and you will also be able to deploy that to a link and share that link not only with your friends and families, but with recruiters as well. What are we waiting for? Let's dive in into the next video.